How do AI and machine learning help to personalize healthcare? The health intelligence team uses artificial intelligence, statistics, simulation, and operations research to inform and improve health system productivity and safety and support operational and clinical decision making. We can, for instance, predict with a high degree of certainty when the health system is going to be at capacity, when the emergency departments are going to be full. And we can use uh, solutions like digital twins to simulate responses and work out how to best address capacity crisis. Machine learning is a field in AI that looks for patterns in data. We take the data that's in the healthcare system and use that to build personalized risk profiles of patients. And now, thanks to electronic medical records at hospitals, we can develop and deploy our predictive models in near real time to provide precision decision support at the point of care. Now for doing this, we employ um, state-of-the-art machine learning models like random forests and gradient boosting trees. We also develop some novel methods that are better suited for use in healthcare. We developed the predictive risk model that was used across 170 GP practices nationally to recruit over 10,000 patients for the Australian government's healthcare homes trial. This model predicted a patient's risk of hospitalization 12 months from visiting a GP. We've also developed and validated a model for predicting a patient's risk of readmission. So a couple of years ago, I lost my dad and he had gone to hospital with um, a complication that was related to diabetes and he deteriorated while he was in hospital, eventually got sepsis and died. So for me, doing work which can predict a patient's deterioration in advance so that clinicians have more time to deal with that is very, very personal. Medical imaging in and of itself naturally helps people on a personal level. It locates and provides an extent to uh, an abnormality of a patient. We develop machine learning and artificial intelligence tools for diagnosis and prognosis, as well as treatment planning uh, for a clinical setting. We work with clinicians, industry and patients to understand their needs. A single tool could be hosted and serve multiple healthcare systems simultaneously. Uh, and that's very uh, cost effective and affordable. We work with uh, medical colleges, as well as other research institutes uh, in order to collaborate uh, and make more impactful research. We've been involved for some time in highly accurate 3D localization of the prostate from magnetic resonance and computer tomography imaging. We've also developed software for the new generation of radiation therapy systems. And we've treated around 200 men with prostate cancer using this software. Another way we're trying to look into the future is by uh, generating medical images from radiologists' reports. And this can help with a few things like disease progression for clinicians. It will enable them to be more efficient in their job, particularly with the, the deep learning and artificial intelligence techniques that we're working on. It's very mind boggling to see them work and to see them think like clinicians. It's very awe-inspiring. When I was younger, I tore my ACL. Without that CT scan, I wouldn't have known. And because of having that injury, could no longer play football. I didn't know that that injury would set me on a course to doing research on medical images and potentially helping people in the future. It'd be great to put these tools in the hands of people who are gonna do great things. Precision medicine for us means that we're taking the genetic information of an individual in order to understand their individual disease risk. With that information, we can diagnose, treat and ultimately potentially prevent disease from happening. And with on average 2 million differences between each individual, there's a lot to learn. My father suffered a heart attack despite eating healthy and exercising regularly. This really drove home how little we actually understand about this disease. Using genomic information in order to identify the personal risks for this particular disease is absolutely crucial. So the biggest barrier is data. For example, with the COVID data set, there's only 1% of the global data that we could actually analyze. Now we're working on solutions that bring the data control into the hands of the patients. And with that confidence comes more data into the system that we can ultimately analyze. We don't drive innovation alone. We partner with industry, clinical partners and government in order for them to translate our research and development. 
the specific technologies that we're working with may be neural network, it may be deep learning, it may be random forests, but all of this really is that we bespokely develop solutions for the individual client. So we're working with three Australian small to medium enterprises. The first one is AMROC where we're using machine learning in order to boost their RNA therapeutics for cancer. The second one is GenePath, where we help expand newborn screening from currently 25 to over 250 treatable childhood diseases. And lastly, DropBio, where we help make their personalized biomarkers more scalable using cloud computing. So we are at a cusp of a medical revolution. We're using machine learning, AI and data will help make Australia's healthcare system safer, more efficient and accessible for all. How do AI and machine learning help to personalise healthcare? That's how. That's how. That's how.